Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and credit card review video, and I'll be presenting the American Express Airplane Pass Gold Card. The American Express Aeroplan Plus Gold Card is very comparable with the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite and CIBC Aerogold Visa Infinite card. So I'll talk about that as well uh, after the unboxing and uh, I'll talk about uh, some uh, features and benefits of this card and I'll compare some of the benefits of the American Express Aeroplan Plus Gold Card with other Aeroplan card. So let's start with the unboxing first. So take out the credit card. So this credit card has $120 annual fee and uh, I'll go over some more details which should be inside the box. So let's take it out here. So here's the full package. So it came in an envelope uh, like this. It's not that big. It's just a standard envelope. So I'll set this aside here. So your new American Express card has arrived. So this is the main letter and the card is going to be inside here so which i'll set aside for now uh, let's look at the manual or the brochure which comes along with the card so here we have important information about insurance okay so it looks like there's an insurance uh, disclosure so some of the changes here i don't need to go into details about those so i'll just set it aside here for now and let's take a look here so we have table of contents and certificates of insurance so this is going to be a very important piece of document and we'll take a look at what type of insurance this card covers and they have a listing of uh, all the major insurances the card is covering for example flight and baggage delay and hotel motel burglar insurance lost or stolen baggage insurance travel accident insurance car rental theft and damage insurance buyer assurance in uh, buyers assurance pro protection plan purchase protection customer service numbers okay so let's take a look at flight and baggage delay here so it starts after six hours uh, of arrival and the maximum coverage of any occurrence is five hundred dollars some of the credit cards actually it starts after four hours so this is two hours extra I would prefer those which have four hours and it's uh, amount is low too it's a uh, five hundred dollars per occurrence and let's take a look at uh, coverage e coverage a missed connection so this one actually uh, they have um, here so this one has actually four hours delay and coverage B is delayed flight departure or denied boarding and again this one is four hours as well and I don't see any amount here okay so for some of these they're not giving any amounts right here but it must be somewhere else so I'll see what else I can find okay so here lost or stolen baggage insurance you see right here the maximum payable for any on occurrence is up to five hundred dollars for all insured persons combined which is low some of the other cars they would give you uh, more than this amount so for example I think I, I, I've just seen somewhere fifteen hundred dollars all combined five hundred each person so in terms of insurance coverage uh, this is not it doesn't have that strong insurance and let me just take a look here okay so here I don't see anything else and travel accident insurance which is five hundred thousand dollars which is fairly standard this one is usually the same for most of the credit cards mm, I've seen uh, and car rental theft and damage insurance here and buyer's assurance and protection plan uh, indemnification for losses limited to maximum ten thousand dollars per item and not ex not to exceed twenty five thousand dollars per card member per policy 
ear for all occurrences. Okay, so this one is actually not that bad. Purchase protection plan. And that's it. Okay, so it looks like that's all. I don't see any uh, trip cancellation, trip interruption insurance here. So most, I have a feeling this card doesn't provide those. We just set it aside for now and let's see what other stuff we have here. So this is a welcome brochure. Uh, welcome the American Express Arrow Plan Plus Gold card. And table of contents, benefits. So you're earning one Arrow Plan per uh, dollar up to ten thousand dollars annually and you're earning 1.25 airplane once you exceed ten thousand dollars purchase annually okay so card benefit no preset spending limit okay so the other thing to mention that this card actually is not a credit card it's a charge card so the difference between a credit card and charge card is that for this you have to pay the balance every month you cannot carry over uh, the next month but if you do there's a hefty interest charge which uh, they mentioned somewhere in here but charge card are meant to be uh, paid off every month so you're not supposed to carry balance to the next month okay so now here we have just some other information okay so here they're just telling you the same thing uh, one point per one mile per dollar up to 10,000 1.25 over 10,000 and here I don't see anything else and these are airplane partners these are hotel partners which give you airplanes so there's some numbers here and card benefits, no preset spending limit, uh, earn more airplane mass with two free supplementary cards. Okay, so one of the features this card has which I like is that you can get a supplementary card, up to two cards actually, not even one, two additional cards or supplementary cards for free. So which is a good uh, option, uh, most uh, other airplane uh, credit cards, they'll charge you I believe $50 per supplementary card but here you're getting two for free which is not a bad option and year and summary of charges, uh, that's another good option although I don't know how many people will be actually looking at it, insurance benefit, okay so here it looks like they have a summary of insurance benefit and uh, let me see if I can uh, extract some more information from here okay so as much as you prepare for a trip uh, unforeseen circumstances may arise okay so car theft and damage insurance uh, okay actually they're giving an amount here the amount is up to $85,000 which is very good flight delay insurance and looks like they summarized here and then uh, here you'll receive up to five thousand five hundred dollar coverage for all necessary and reasonable hotel motel and restaurant expenses so this is the flight delay and here baggage delay insurance again five hundred dollars coverage aggregate maximum uh, okay so this coverage are actually lower than if you uh, compare with other cards uh, other cards would give you five hundred per person and then they have a limit of either 1500 some cards have 2500 for all plan members so this one looks like 500 for everyone total lost and stolen baggage insurance okay so this one is 500 per trip for for all insurance person combined and uh, hotel motel burglary is $500 for everyone this is low too some cards which give hotel motel burglary for example rbc visa infinite or rbc british Airways card they have actually more amount here i believe uh, okay so let me just make sure of everything i don't see anything here 500 500,000 travel accident uh, buyers assurance protection plan so this is just to extend you know one additional years when you buy something so whenever you buy something usually they come with uh, 
one year manufacturer's warranty but if you have a credit card that provides uh, this insurance plan you're covered for two years uh, and so which is one additional year so this is a good option to have and purchase protection plan this is due to accidental loss damage or theft or anything and other services is travel emergency assistance and emergency card replacement okay so here is the thing this card doesn't is not giving you trip cancellation trip in interruption insurance which are two vital parts of any travel credit cards so that's a big negative uh, thing here and another thing you're not getting here is the concierge service uh, I value concierge service a lot uh, they can arrange everything for you and they can answer any questions you may have even if they're non travel really or if they're not travel related related and they can help you anything if you're stranded anywhere on our or if you're in a foreign country they can help help you with most of the things so this card doesn't have any uh, concierge service that's a big negative point so it looks like that's all we have here and here is the card agreement so here actually there's not much so it's just you know tells you all the things you have to go by all the rules and regulations of this card and what you may receive or not receive from the card so I'll just set aside for now and that's all we have now let's go back to our card okay so here we will open the introductory letter and let's look at the back of this letter so we have a blank page here and then here we have initial credit limit as a charge card there's no preset credit limit interest rate if you actually do carry over it's going to be 30 percent interest but it's not recommended and minimum payment shown foreign currency conversion 2.5 percent which is standard for most of the cards and will be hundred twenty dollars and that looks like it here so let's take out the card and then which will be okay so I have the card in my hand right now and here is the American Express aeroplan go aeroplan plus gold credit card okay let's just bring a little closer okay so here again American Express aeroplan plus gold credit card and the card is not bad looking it looks good it has slightly yellowish uh, touch so that makes it look uh, you know elegant card and you know, I'll set aside for now so let's talk about whether this card how does this card compare it to other same category same standard aeroplan uh, credit card which is TD, TD Visa Infinite uh, uh, TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite credit card and CIBC Aero Gold Visa Infinite credit card. Those two cards have $120 annual fee as well. And the benefits with those two cards is that uh, you're getting uh, 1.5 uh, miles on three separate categories, which is uh, gas, grocery, and I believe pharmacy. So these three categories with TD and CIBC Aeroplan card, you're getting 1.5 point instead of one point. So that's an accelerated uh, rate of uh, earning with this card you have no accelerated rate of earning unless you pass ten thousand dollars spending so that's a big plus point for those two cards and the other important thing about uh, those two cards is that uh, they have full insurance coverage and uh, they have trip cancellation trip in interruption and also they have uh, Concierge services, which is Visa Infinite Concierge, uh, one of the best concierges uh, in the world. So, with this card, you're not getting any concierge services. So, what you're missing with this card is the accelerated point earning category. Actually, I'm sorry, the TD and CIBC has one more category where you can earn 1.5 uh, miles per dollar, which is the if you purchase something from Air Canada website. Uh, so, if you purchase uh, airfare or some other items then that one considers as an accelerated category as well so with this card that's uh, it has to be above uh, ten thousand dollars spent so in terms of uh, 
which one to pick uh, if you are looking to earn more on those categories and if you're looking for full insurance coverage and benefits and concierge services then I would go with those two cards and this card is only uh, good because it's a charge card uh, it's not a credit card and if you have uh, additional family uh, members or if you like to give supplementary cards and don't want to pay $50 each then this is this card could be an option because it's it, it's free for uh, up to two supplementary cards another thing I forgot to mention that all cards they have standard 15,000 bonus points but with this card there's a spending limit uh, spending requirement so you have to spend uh, $1,500 within uh, 90 days to get the 15,000 bonus points but with TD and airplane uh, actually there is no spending limit you just charge first time you, uh, you just you know buy something with your credit card and you're going to get the bonus points and also time to time I have seen TD running uh, additional bonus points uh, instead of uh, they, they give you 25,000 or 20,000 airplane miles instead of 15,000 miles so uh, that's another good option if you're looking for extra miles when uh, TD run runs uh, promotion I, I haven't seen Aeroplan CABC Aerogold uh, running any promotion for a while uh, so at this point I doubt that you know it's going to happen because they're right now concentrating on their own proprietary credit card instead of Aeroplan uh, credit card after the uh, lost credit card Aeroplan contract to TD so uh, basically that's all for the American Express Aeroplan Plus Gold credit card there will be more credit card videos coming up shortly uh, if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and also uh, if you're wondering uh, if uh, the card is lacking all these features why I am taking why I have this card uh, the answer is uh, I have a trip coming up uh, to Australia and New Zealand uh, at the end of this year and I'm short of uh, several thousand aeroplane miles so I'm actually obtaining a few aeroplane credit cards to cover uh, the requirements because I'm, my plan is to fly business class uh, as much as possible from Toronto to Australia and New Zealand and coming back although it may not be possible for uh, the whole trip because of uh, if the you know viewers uh, seats availability but I'll try to see if I can make that uh, booking uh, this is by far uh, the most uh, difficult uh, trip uh, plan to go to Australia or New Zealand and come back uh, flying business class because it's a very you know uh, distant land and ticket or uh, airplane or rears availability is uh, not uh, enough unlike other short distant uh, locations I'll keep you updated on those and I'll let you know once uh, you know the time comes uh, just like my last Asia trip which I flew uh, business class round trip so I'll talk about those later on in future videos uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly